Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel! 저 만나서 반갑습니다! 제 이름은 해미입니다! 그리고 제 오빠 김보입니다! Hi guys! Nice to meet you everyone! My name is Hemi and this is my brother, Kyungbu. Say hi! 안녕하세요! <laughs> so for today's lesson, we are going to learn basic consonants or Chao! Yay! So, let's start! 기본 차음은 공부 시간입니다. Okay, it's time to learn basic consonants. So here are all the 14 basic consonants that we are going to learn for today, okay? Please listen carefully. All right, let's begin. 자, 시작하겠습니다. In Hangul or Korean alphabet, we have 14 기본 자음 or 14 basic consonants, okay? So just a reminder, guys that Hangul is the writing system of Korea. Don't forget that. Always remember that, okay? So, let's start. Our first consonant is 이 소리는 그 그. So, this one is the um, Hangul symbol or the Korean alphabet character, okay? And over here, we have the romanization name, which is Kiyo, Kiyo, Kiyo. And over here, this is the uh, Hangul name. This is the Kiyo, written in Korean only, okay? <laughs> so, the consonant Kiyo is soft G or soft K sound in the beginning, but... K sound in the final or in the end. Okay? So, the next kibon charm is isarinun n. n. So, this is the Hangul symbol. And ni n is the romanization name. Ni n. Ni n. And this one is the Hangul name. So, the consonant ni n is N sound in the initial and N sound in the final, which means it is still N sound whether it is in the beginning or it is in the final. Okay? There, so that you can see it. So the next kibun charm is isarinun the the. So this is the Hangul symbol or the Korean alphabet character. Okay, and this one is the romanization name, which is Tig, Tig, and over here we have the Hangul name. Okay, so the consonant Tig is G sound in the beginning and T sound in the end or in the final. So the next keyboard charm is Isarinun. R, R. So this one is the Hangul symbol or the Korean alphabet character. And over here is the the romanization. Ri, Ri. And over here we have the Hangul. So the consonant Ri is R sound in the beginning and L sound in the final or in the end. Okay. So the next kibon charm is isarinun m m. So this is the Korean alphabet character, and over here we have mi um, which is the romanization name, and over here we have the Hangul name. So the consonant mi um is. M sound in the initial and M sound in the final. Which means it is like the consonant ni Um It is M sound in the beginning and M sound in final. So it is still M sound whether it is in the beginning or it is in the end. Okay? 
So the next given charm is is a learn b b. So this one is the Korean alphabet character or the Hangul symbol. So over here we have the romanization name b e p e, and this one is the Hangul. Okay. And over here we have. So the consonant p up is b sound in the beginning and p sound in the final or in the end. So the next keyboard charm is sarinan s s. So this is the Korean alphabet character or the Hangul symbol. And shiot is the romanization. Shiot. Shiot. Okay, and over here, this one we have the Hangul line. So the consonant shiot is S sound in the beginning and T sound in the final or in the end. Okay. So we already know seven seven consonants already, which is kiyop, nian, tigat, nian, nian, kiyop, and shiot. Now let's move on to the seven more consonants over here. So this consonant is special because it is silent or there is no sound in the beginning. But it is ng or ng sound in the final or in the end. Okay? And that's why its name is iyo was because it started in the vowel e and it ended in the consonant ng or ng. So that's the Hangul symbol and this one is the romanization name eo and this one is the Hangul name. So like what I said earlier, uh, uh, the beginning is silent or there is no sound but it is ng or ng sound in the final. There, so that you can see it. So the next Cuban charm is isarinun j. j. So this one is the Korean alphabet character or the Hangul symbol. Okay. And over here is g the romanization. g G -e. And this one is the Hangul name. So the consonant G -e is J sound in the beginning and T sound in the final or in the end. Right, Kimbo? <laughs> so the consonant G -e is equivalent to the English letter Z. But always remember in Hangul, there is no letter Z. Okay, instead we use the consonant G it. Okay, for example, like the word pizza, instead of using Z, we use the consonant G it. Pizza, 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 instead of pizza. Okay, always remember there is no letter Z in Hangul, but we use the consonant. So let's continue. So after the consonant G is the consonant Chiot. Chiot. So this is the romanization. I mean, this is the Hangul symbol or the Korean alphabet character. And over here, oh, over here is the uh, romanization. Chiot. And this one is the Hangul. Okay. So the consonant chiot is ch or ch sound in the beginning, but t sound in the final or in the end. So the next kibun charm is isarinun k k. So this one is kiok the romanization name. Kiok, kiok, and this one, this is the Hangul name. 
there. So the consonant ki is k sound in the beginning and k sound in the final. So it's still the same k sound. Okay. So the consonant ki is equivalent to the English letter C. But in Hangul, there is no letter C as well. We use the consonant ki For example, the word coffee. In English, we use the letter C. Am I right? But in Hangul, we use the consonant ki for K. Copy. Copy. Copy instead of coffee. Always remember that too. So after ki up, we have the consonant t, t or ki up. So this is the Korean alphabet character and ki up is the romanization. Right, Kimbo? <laughs> and this one is the Hangul name. So the consonant ti is T sound in the beginning and T sound in the final. So it's still the same, both T sound. So the next consonant is Isorinun He. He. So as you can see, this is the Korean alphabet character and P is the romanization name. P P and this one is the Hangul. So the consonant P up is still P sound in the beginning and in the final. Okay? So the consonant P up is also equivalent to the English letter F. So in English there is letter F, but in Hangul there is no letter F, okay? For example, like the word coffee, we use the consonant P up. Copy. 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 So now let's move on to our last consonant of the day, which is hyot. Hyot. So this is the Hangul symbol, and hyot is the um, romanization name, and this one is the Hangul. So the consonant hyot is H sound in the beginning and T sound in the final or in the end. So those are all the 14 basic consonants or the 14 Kibon Chaong that we have learned. So now let's just review the Hangul symbols or the Korean alphabet character. Okay. So just look here. There. Follow after me, okay? <laughs> Hana to set. Let's all read. Ka. Na, ta, ra, ma, pa, sa. Next, a, ja, cha, ta, ta, pa, ha. So those are all the 14 basic consonants. So in the 14 basic consonants, we learn the romanization name, the Hangul symbol, or the Korean alphabet character. You can call it whether it is Korean alphabet or it is Hangul symbol. And the Hangul name, of course. So those are all the 14 basic consonants that we have learned for today. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We really hope that you enjoyed watching and learning with us for today about uh, Hangul or the basic consonants. So, if you haven't watched our previous videos, please watch them first so that you can much more understand the basic consonants or chao, Right, Kyungbu? <laughs> and please check my description box because I have put the link there down below. <laughs> and please like and subscribe to our channel. And please hit the bell button or the notification bell so that you can be notified if we ever post new videos. And please share this video to those who also want to learn 
Hango with me and Kimbo, okay? Oh, um, before we end our video, I just want to show you my new hairdo that my sister had uh, did to my hair. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And over here, I'll just show you, okay? There. It's like a circular um, braid. I think it's a French braid. You, you guys see it? Okay. So that's my new hairdo. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Annyeong. Sarangye. Tome mana yo. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.